Hey everyone, Amanda Mazey here, Country Roads Trust. Y'all know this guy, Gabe Osaboy. And Gabe, welcome back. Thanks for co-hosting with me. Thank y'all for having me. Hey, how's life in the G League? You're with the Cleveland Charge. How's that going? It's going good. I uh, have one of the best teams in the G League and still representing the Mountaineers in a good way, so that's good. I know that you come back here a lot to Morgantown and you're so involved in the community and just your face is around. The Mountaineer fans love you. Why is it important for you to kind of come back and just still stay connected with Mountaineer fans? Uh, just because of the fan base. Uh, throughout my years of being here, they show a tremendous amount of love. So just giving it back in any way I can. That's awesome. We love to hear that. All right, so we've got Kitty Johnson, Mo Wagi with us. Guys, thanks for joining us. Do you want to um, open up with the tough questions? Of course, you and Kitty were roommates, so yeah. you open up with that tough question. Um, first question, I know they play, I came here to watch them play Texas Tech on Saturday, so what's your approach to the game and how are you guys getting ready for it? I mean, for the most part, for with this team, it starts on the defense end. Sometimes we have trouble guarding, we have difficulties playing defense, but the scout that they've given us for this game has really helped us, you know, prepare for the game coming up Saturday. So I think it should be a good one. I mean, obviously we played them one time before, so like we kind of know my, pretty much everything about them. So like we just got to focus more on defense and just go get it. We need that one for sure. But this is a Texas Tech team that is red hot right now. They have three conference wins, two in their last two games. They knocked off Texas. They beat Kansas State. You guys beat them at their place. So this might be a little different look, Texas Tech, and I know you guys are not going to take them lightly. I mean, it's a home game, so. A sold out home game, too. Sold out home game. We always play well at home in front of our own fans. So I think that'll give us a boost for this game. Mo, what do you think, how do you guys, you know your back is up against the wall, right? With NCAA tournament implications on the line here. How do you guys play tight and, and tighten things up, but not play so tight that you're not playing y'all's game? Because y'all have had some really good wins this season. Um, I feel like there's a type of league where you could just go on the run and just be having like tough days during the night because like everybody's good at this league. So like you just got to be ready and play hard every time and give everything you got to get it done. Gabe, I know you've seen these guys play. Put your coaching hat on here. You've been in their shoes. What do these guys need to do to step it up these, uh, these last five games of the regular season? I mean, I've been locked in every game watching everything they do. And I feel like even though the record may not um, show, I feel like they've been, they've been playing real hard and they've actually been having, doing a decent job, pretty good job. I feel like just the consistency part from everybody, just bringing what they bring to the table on a consistent basis, I think that would be the part that will help everybody balance out and gel together, which comes with time playing together. Obviously, it's about to be um, – February, about to be March, so I think this is the time where everybody's starting to get used to each other's game and know what everybody has to bring to the table to win. So I think it's about to be a great stretch here for the Mountaineers. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are 11-3 and three at home. This is a question for both of you, but 2-7 and seven on the road. What is it about the road where you guys just struggle? I mean, is there something or what? Why? <laughs> I'll start with this is the toughest league in America. And playing in other people's gyms without fans, it's kind of like playing outside, playing on the outside blacktop. I mean, it's tough, but it's very doable. As you can see, we won one at Texas Tech. So I think it's just us coming in as a team and staying focused and creating our own energy will help us win on the road when we go on the road again. Yeah, and you know this this league, how tough it is. You've been here. But, Mo, this is your first year playing for the Mountaineers. You know, what do you think about the rigors of Big 12 play, Power 5? Because I know you came from a JUCO. How has that been different for you? It's everything I thought was going to be, for real. Like, it's definitely tough. And then, for the most part, I think we got to do more job. I mean, better job on focus on the little things, too. Because, like, the game at well, Kansas State, we, we missed a lot of free throws, which is – the reason why we lost those games. So like all those little mistakes that we getting up to fixing all those little stuff, I think we're getting there. Yeah, because you guys have been there. so close yes, in so yeah. many games. So many games. So, all right, what else you got for these guys? Um, I mean, I've got all the answers I really wanted about Texas Tech. 
after Texas Tech, you guys have Oklahoma at home? No, Oak State. Oak State Oak at State, home. Yeah. Okay. That would be your first time playing them or second? The second. The second. You guys beat them the first time? We lost to them away. So I know y'all going to get that back yeah. for me. So. <laughs> I'm excited. It's, it's, it's a, about to be a great time. It's a great stretch coming up for them, especially needing these wins to play in the tournament. I know a lot of these guys haven't experienced March Madness, but also there's a few that have. So I know they're going to lock, lock the team in, bring them together, and really make that push. You know, talk about going down this stretch. I mean, five regular season games left, and you have the Big 12 tournament. You know, staying focused. You guys are still student athletes as well. Staying focused and really seeing what you guys are fighting for. How important is that right now? I mean, it's very important. We're fighting for a whole state along with ourselves and what we want to accomplish. So I think staying focused was the main part of what we're trying to um, accomplish. Mo, have you enjoyed this season? I mean, obviously ups and downs, but first year representing. Yeah. Like you said, you're representing an entire state. It's a lot different. Most athletes, Definitely. they don't get to do that. So how fun for you? Has it, been it was really, it was really fun. Like learning every day with just players. I want to make it to the NCAA tournament. So like, we got to win games. Yeah, we got for sure. to, yeah. For sure. What's it like, all of you, playing for Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins? Uh, it's legendary. I mean, that's a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, the experiences you get uh, on and off the court are some things that you're going to keep for the rest of your life, so. What do you guys think? I mean, I think it's great because not everybody gets to play for a Hall of Fame coach. So I came from a JUCO, so playing for a Hall of Fame coach is very big. What has he been able to teach you, Mo? You're a young guy here. I mean, everything, literally, like every little thing you do, he just makes sure you focus on the little things. Like that's one thing he do for sure. Yeah. We talk every time during plays and stuff. He be teaching stuff like. You guys live together, Kitty and Gabe. Mm -hmm. How was that? <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> that's, my, that's my brother, man. It was fun. You know, talk about those bonds because obviously you spend so much time together on the court. I know the guy, a lot of the guys live together, but like when you are together practically every day, all the time, it's got to be fun, but you got to get on each other's nerves sometimes too, right? <laughs> a little <Nope>. bit, <laughs> a little bit, but it's, it's all love. I mean, everywhere I am, he's usually right there with me, especially in Morgantown. Even straight to the relationship to where even when I'm with uh, the Cavs in Cleveland, I'm still calling him all the time talking to him, bringing him whatever I can, and it's still, like I'm still here. When I come back, I feel like I just left. Yeah. A day ago, for real. You know, obviously you've, you're you removed from the program now. You can kind of look back and you see what these guys are going through. Yeah. You know, talk about just the friendships that you make, the lifelong brotherhood that you're gonna have with the Keaties and the other guys you played with, because yeah, now you're on that other side. Yeah, definitely, I mean, it, goes way past basketball the relationships you make here. I think I'm going to see that, especially after this year for some of them. When you leave, it's definitely different coming back and seeing it. And you really appreciate the time more yeah. you had here. What do you guys think of all this NIL? You missed out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about these guys being able to profit off their name, image, and likeness now? I think it's, it's great for them to do that. Uh, but when I was here, my main focus was basketball. I mean, we had NIL, but I couldn't really do nothing with it, so I was just so locked in with the basketball part. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, guys, good luck this weekend. Sold out game, Texas Tech yes, on Saturday. Sir. Let's that's get right. it, man. You're going to be there, right? Course on. Let's course get it. You're talking about course on. You're going to be, like, giving these guys grief? Oh, yeah, or the they, refs? They're going to hear me, the refs and them. <laughs> Keep it clean, Gabe. Keep I got clean. you. I got well, Gabe, you. Gabe, we appreciate you coming by. No good luck. Thank um, you. G League, Cleveland Charge. That's Thank awesome. You. Keep representing the Mountaineers. Guys, good luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Games, and let's go Mountaineers. Thank you. Let's, let's go, go Mountaineers. Thanks, guys.